<laughs> Welcome back to another product review. And today we're gonna to take a look at Star Trek, the motion picture inside the art and visual effects. That's right, Star Trek, and there's a lot to cover. Ah, oh, going from cover to cover. Anyway, there's a ton of awesome stuff in there. Speaking of awesome, that's kind of self-serving. But I do have a channel that hopefully features awesome things, and I do prog reviews like these about books, animation books, filmmaking books. I have acting analysis clips, animation analysis. I have lectures, and I have rig reviews, all kinds of things. Feel free to browse around and check out if there's something that you like. And if you do like it, you can subscribe. That is it. Let's check out the book. All right, that is the book. Oh, hefty front. Top here, sides, the spine, and the back. Let's open this up here, and I'm gonna take this off, and you can see a beautiful cover. Big fan of this here. Let's take the whole thing off. That's for the paper around it. And that is, as you can see, the book in all of its glory, front and back and everything. Really neat. Sorry, little enterprise, you're gonna have to move around a little bit here. I need some room. Let's open up the book. This book contains a ton of information. I will go fairly quickly through and paging through the book. You got your front, you can see the contents. There's a ton to cover. If you look at the whole book here, oh, till the very end here, it's 192 pages, plus minus the extra ones. But that is your content here, which you can see. You got a forward and then a border launch, Planet of the Titans and Star Trek Phase 2. So as you go through the book, you see a fantastic artwork. Early plans, early sketches, very reminiscent of what they used for Star Trek Discovery. And I will continue to page through and I'm a massive, massive Star Trek fan. So seeing this, seeing the sketches, and this really takes a look at the early stages and all the things you don't really know about. It's not heavy, heavy on visual effects, what ILM did and what other companies did. It has another focus on another company and it's mainly showcasing the artwork behind it, which is super cool. I mean, look at this, come on. Lots of Ralph McCurry sketches. I'll go a bit faster. You got your warp experiment. And the cool thing is that it takes a look at all the work that Abel and Associates have done for the company, which are kind of the unsung heroes. They don't really get mentioned too often. And you can see here the early tests, the artists are involved, lots of behind the scenes photos. Chapter two, refits. Legend in industry, Douglas Trumbull and John Dykstra going through their experiences. But I have to admit, I actually did not read the whole thing. I just got the book, it came out yesterday on the first and I am here yes I left here with Spock chapter four so this is how much I've read but from what I've looked at it's really really cool obviously if you're a Star Trek fan it's of massive value and you're going to be even more blown away but even if you're just a fan of model making you can see here all the details that it shows the sketches the whole building they're oh, so good early sketches of it the painting if you're just a fan of model making, this is going to be absolutely something you will enjoy looking at. But it's just great to see a focus on the artists, the behind the scenes, and just a really detailed look in terms of the creation of that movie. You can see here, set design, big two page photos, and sometimes artwork. Oh, look at that, come on. This is absolutely, yeah, that's where I left off. I'm very much at the early beginning here. Strange New Worlds, it talks about Vulcan Worlds, the ships, the designs, oh, look at this, so cool. Props, yeah, phasers, space stations. You got the dry dock here of the Enterprise. You got the shuttle with that massively long sequence, which is still awesome. Love this here, come on, this is so cool. Love seeing all those alternate designs. Ships that you might not have seen too much highlighted. All of V'ger, which is not super visible in the original movie. For that, you will have to go to the director's cut, but it's really cool to see all those details. Yeah, classic detail, which Eagle Moss does a little version of that, which is also really cool. Continuing on here, lots of details. Oh, yes, creature design and masks. Absolutely fantastic. Inside V'ger, this is chapter six. Seeing more details, storyboards, but also an inside look of a sequence that was not used. There's just too much to do, too much work, too expensive. And just from a practical point of view, just not doable. But it's cool to have that highlighted here. Yeah, look at that classic artwork. Oh, look at that. 
As a friend of mine says, and totally agree, the Enterprise has never looked better in any other movie in terms of the lighting, how it's designed. It still holds up so much. Chapter 7, Beecher's Temple. You get more details into that. That's super cool to see. That will give any artist a headache here in terms of how are we going to build this and design this. But they did. Super cool. Let's continue here. More details for the Enterprise and V'ger. Color storyboards. Blue screen elements. I love this. I love seeing the early production models to see how they're going to do this. And then the full skill set. I love this. Chapter 8, Angle of the Attack, the Klingon sequence. There was also talk about bringing the Klingons back at the end. The ones that disappeared at the beginning, spoiler, but that was also scrapped for various reasons, but make sure to get the book so you know what the reasons were. Let's continue here. I love this. Love the different designs. The Klingons definitely have gone through a huge change throughout the whole franchise here. Chapter 9, a good beginning. The continuing evolution of Star Trek, the motion picture. And then it has also a chapter on the director's cut, explaining why they have to continue, what they wanted to include, what was changing. You can see here some of the imagery of what they included in terms of the new scenes and sequences. And there we go about the author acknowledgements. And that's it. That is a very fast page through for the book. And again, with the paper cover here, you can see this here like that. So if you're a Star Trek fan, I really highly recommend it. Just the early chapters that I went through are really detailed. I know enough about Star Trek. I'm quite a fan. As you can see, there are a lot of making ofs and books that I've read. And there's still always something new to discover or something new to learn about the production, especially that first movie, which is so different than all the other movies. Now, the cool thing is, as I'm going through this and you see the set designs, you see some of the models and what they've gone through. It's cool to see this knowing something else. So there's another book that I highly recommend that you should read. It's much smaller. It's a really fun read. And I just disappeared quickly, but here it is. Chekhov's Enterprise, a personal journal of the making of Star Trek, the motion picture by Walter Koenig. It's absolutely fantastic. It's tiny, 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 but very candid, really funny. You can see how big this is. I highly recommend you get that one too. There's obviously other stuff that I would recommend. I got a big library full of Star Trek books, but these are upcoming reviews. But I wanted to highlight this brand new one because it is full of artwork. That's absolutely amazing to see, and especially if you're a fan of the first movie. So I'm going to leave this here. These are the two that I highly recommend. Get this now. This is an older one that you can still get. Live long and prosper. You know how to do this. Anyway, I'm going to put the link in the description of the book where you can get it. Feel free to check it out. And if you have already and you got thoughts about the book, comments are open. Leave me a note. I'm curious how many Star Trek fans there are of those who are subscribed to my channel. Ooh, nice segue. In case you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my uploads like these reviews and the other things that I do. Other than that, it's a short clip. But still, if you're still watching, thank you for your patience. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in my next upload.